Okay, when in doubt, cheat. Stanley decided to go to the meeting right. room to check on his co-workers. We're going to check the place well that shows you all support the endings. And guidance from others. So the thought of yes, we are. Was See? Terrifying Cunning plan. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I got the boss's office. Hopefully he'll skip everything for me. We've, we had done that, yes. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened We passageway. run through and then there's a there's a elevator down out of curiosity just while I'm here. Ooh, that's dark. Nope, nothing there. Then we go down here and we go to the mind control room. Panic horribly and then try to run away. Descending deeper into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. I, you you Why did he feel don't need to tell me all this this time. For years, it had never We're just skipping through. This question would not go unanswered for long. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Stanley walked straight ahead through the mind large control door. Mind control facility. Mind control facility. And then escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. That's right, Stanley's ignoring you. The door behind you. him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. And yet, he didn't. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Again? Hell Light Portal and Geronimo! And we land in a bucket. Yes, there we go. Big squishy crush thing. Ka squish, ka squish, ka squish. And Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. We fall through. Z Pause. Drop. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Yep. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Plop. And this way. Stanley, parable. Run towards and the yet light. It would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive I as ever. Really do wish I had what a exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? But madness. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless. So making life the same. The office Do you see now? Right. Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Picture paintings. Stanley's computer. Right, so let's read this. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game, the path of Stanley's office to the two doors, the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout the development through the core layout, though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. So there we have it. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. The corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors. In good time. The set of two open doors was the very first concrete piece of Stanley Parable's design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. An exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Island cabinets. Office computers. List of evil satanic people. Button sounds. Right, so then we could wander off and it gave us a bit more of a show, didn't it? It's the maintenance room. We found that. Pot plant. 
I got my eye on that. Wars. Okay, now I didn't find a war zone. I didn't find a war zone. I did not find a war zone. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. That sounds awesome. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Re seriously? Far too jokey for this game? Are you... Really? Plus, some people interpret it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. I don't mind. Make fun of me. Make fun of me. Give me a flamethrower. The point of Stanley Parable HD Remix is to win. These are screenshots of Stanley Parable HD Remix. More endings, fewer endings, more narrators, fewer narrators, more Stanley, less Stanley. Am I going crazy? Maybe it isn't the same image. Was, the, was that clock there before? Are the clock? I have to keep my eye on the clocks. I don't remember. How do I go back? Can you check for me? Larger words. The point of the Stanley Parable HD Remix is to lose. Hmm. Greenlight. In September 2012, we submitted the Stanley Parable to Greenlight, Valve's process of approving games for Steam. The Greenlight page had only a series of cryptic photos, which was still enough to win the community's approval. Okay. Narrator details. After the second trailer, we sent out after the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While he had initially pl we had initially planned to use these in further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. From Pixel Sith, dear narrator, dear narrator, how do you stay in shape? Sincerely, Michael the Rock Martin. Okay. Could you tell me what the significance of the number 1112800 is? Dear narrator, I appreciate the previous Stanley game as a work of art and standalone title. I appreciate the credit given to art, which is why I'm eager to see a sequel pre- <sighs> That was irritating. I'm going to wander off and sulk now. Um, the Lounge. Yes, very nice. The Apartment Timer. In the previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. The apartment ending. There was an apartment! I got the apartment ending, didn't I? I just clicked everything. I had to click everything. I just clicked everything and... The cargo... The cargo lift was intended to offer the choice of staying or jumping to a different path. However, after this early version, we decided we also wanted the option of the player falling to their death. I haven't found a cargo lift. I've not found a cargo lift. Not like that. Unless it's the one that I rode sort of more laterally than vertically. That looks like vertical. A vertical lift. A cargo lift. The second version is functionally the same as what is in the final game, but we wanted it to look more like a place where cargo is actually stored. Oh, okay, so it is the room, it's the room, they just... Okay... Meeting room. First choice, disobey, lounge, maintenance, obey, okay. Uh, two options. Disobey, obey, staircase, lounge. Vent! What? The flow of always followed the first two doors was important to get right since players will replay them many times. We discussed the number of designs, but ultimately it was the simple version that won out. Well, which is the simple version? Probably that one. The confusion ending. The other entrance would be hidden depending on how you... Entered. Am I in the... No, I'm not in the confusion ending. I don't think this is the confusion ending. Um, I should keep my eye open for vents. Vents. They may have snuck vents in without letting me know. Um, zending levers. These levers were originally a part of the zending. The player would pull a lever and the narrator would, be describe, would describe what colour 
lever they had pulled. What is the Zending? Z ending. The Z ending. Screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as Zending, which was eventually cut and merged into another part of the zone. Oh, right, so that one. Then. Zending model. The Zending went through many iterations. This room represents the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was and we thought it was complete, but decided to abandon and change it shortly after before lunch. Oh, okay, that was the game's now pause, begin the game again, resume the game, options, oh, escape menu. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized that this was what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. Begin the game again? Doesn't that, like, begin all the way from the beginning, scratch, and I lose all my progress? He says the word progress. When ended the only ended when the player restarted from the... Well, but that's... Begin the game again. Tempting. Very tempting. Okay. Freedom ending. Got that one. Wasn't impressed. Countdown desk. Um, this was the very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. Looks boring. I'm glad you improved it. Um, screenshots from the development of the boss's office. Okay. Oh. Evil credits of doom. So we get this way. Right. An early version of the underground portion of the game. Okay. And narration outtakes. We Yeah, we've Maybe I should sit there and listen to them. Maybe he'll give me a clue. Hmm. Obviously, now that now that I've done more of this, this all makes far more sense. It, uh, it. Okay, let's not go down there. No, 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 no. This is the level that William, the level designer, sent Davy the writer as a kind of audition piece. The strength of this level got William hired to design the full game. Though much of the environment has changed, the basic layout from this mock-up is still in the game. Offices, Stanley's office. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. Okay. Um. Wasn't there more? Was there not more? I thought there'd be hints. I really did. I thought I was going to get hints. Spoilers. Here's a clue to an ending you missed. Or does it only ever put things in here for the endings you know <laughs> Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. Nope. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. All right. Then the only clue I have found from this, apart from look out for vents, is... Where the hell was it? I'm lost now. It was down there, wasn't it? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. No, it was not. I am well and truly lost. Where's the poster that told me restarting was an option? Pretty sure. Okay. Yes, well and truly lost. It wasn't here. I know that. I still want the bloody war zone. Here. Here it was. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. The game is now paused. Begin the game again. Very few players realized this was what they were supposed to do. Okay. Begin the game again. Okay. 
Okay? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Is it raining? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Is it is it raining? No. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, it's he raining. The door on his left. I'm hearing something. Now I'm hearing wind. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Who moved my desk? Who moved my desk? Can I move desks? Um, okay. Um. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked yeah, upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I'm hearing it. Executive bathroom. I couldn't open that before. I could not open that before. I could not open that before. Something's changed. Something's changed. Can I open this one? Can I open this one? I can open that one. I can open that one. Let's check the bathroom out first. Something has changed. Something has changed. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Extreme bathrooms. Can I close the door? I'd like some privacy. Okay, the narrator's not going to say anything, so apparently I wasn't annoying him by doing that. Okay. Okay, what is in here? An elevator! And paper. Shapes doors monthly. Oh, okay, okay. Recommendations from the overnight committee, which I'm not going to be able to read. Graphs. Doom doom. Awesome! Um, I shall go. I'm going to press both, because... Oh, does it matter which way I press? Did anyone else... I'm hearing whispering. Oh, it's the narrator. I think he's doing dance steps. I think he's dancing a cha-cha. Sorry, cha-cha-cha, for purists. Okay. Long elevator. Okay, seriously, I've not spent this long in an elevator since Mass Effect 1. Could we please move it along? Thank you very much. <sighs> Getting bored now, me too! Oh, am I supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to press something. Well, that doesn't normally... No, 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 no. Down. I press down twice now. Both times down. 
No! Hurry up! <sighs> up again, no. Oh, seriously? I'm still hearing rain. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? This has changed. Stanley this is, wondered aloud. Isn't it? Isn't this changed? Nobody. This is. This is. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, uh, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. Okay, what paintings? His attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing Wait. random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. No, but... He stepped into the newly opened But this passageway. is just the same thing. This is just kind of... Well, this is not new. This is... Oh. Okay, now that is new. I had a whole... No, didn't I? No. No, it isn't new. It's not, not new. No, this was... This is... Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <sighs> this is where I went. This Although is where this passageway had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Well, that didn't change. Well, it did. It the changed a little bit. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Can we... Can we... Begin it again? Maybe you have to do it twice? Okay, I don't... All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? 47, yes. Yes, it's Stanley's office. Yes? Isn't it? I think so. Um... All of my co-workers have disappeared. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nope. I think I'm just going to stay here for an hour. And see who breaks first. Probably should have brought snacks. <laughs>